to this dramatic conclusion. WWE's self-proclaimed queen is defending her crown. against the superstar who is limping into the finals courtesy of an attack from none other than her opponent, Charlotte Flair. Only one of these two superstars can walk or limp out of this match as official WWE royalty. My advice for the challenger, if you come at the queen, you best not miss. Back stutter. Oh, there's the old... Sure, perfect leg snap from Charlotte. Really looking to end it here. This could be it. One, two, three. And it is set. There she is, your first ever queen of the ring. Credit to Charlotte for the win, but you have to acknowledge that this might have ended differently if her opponent wasn't injured coming into the match. And of course, Charlotte was the one who caused that injury. And now for the excuses. If it wasn't official before, now it is. Charlotte is the one and only queen of WWE. is Liv Morgan. Is that a serious question? Yeah, it is. Since honestly, you're a bit hard to read. I mean, one minute you're with the Riot Squad, the next you're not, then you get back together and now you're on your own? Make up your mind, Liv. Things move fast around here, especially when it comes to allies and enemies. Sometimes even I have whiplash. That's because you have no real anchor to ground you or sense of direction. What are you trying to say? Oh, I'm sorry, did you want me to sugarcoat it? Yeah, not going to do that. You're best working with others, with a leader, like me. If you're such a great leader, then why don't you and I team up? Show me what I'm missing. Now that's actually not a terrible idea. I'm down to bring you on board and <laughs> being around me. Well, some of my skills are sure to rub off on even you. Whatever, but if we can do some damage together, I'm all for it. Speaking of damage, I have some business to take care of in the ring tonight. But can you help me settle a score with Nia Jax? She's been bothering me on social media lately, and I'm sick of it. So, if we're going to be a team, prove I can depend on you by giving Nia a piece of your mind. I don't know about a piece of my mind, but I'm happy to give her a piece of my fist. You know, this might actually be worth my time after all.
Here we go. She. Hard not to be excited when this superstar is in the ring. A competitor who has no limits. She wouldn't know her limits if they were right in front of her, Michael. Some might think she's reckless at times, but it's impossible to get her to change her ways now. And I wouldn't expect her to fight any different in this matchup either. Yeah, but all Dana Brooke does is grind and hustle. Whether it's in the gym, working on a towel, or in the ring, working on her abilities. There is no such thing as a wasted day. Dedication is the name of the game for Dana Brooke. If she's not in the ring, she's in the gym. And if she's not in the gym, she's studying film. She is throwing herself full bore into the pursuit of excellence and won't allow any speed bump to slow her down. DDT! And Dana there got met by a big speed bump on her path. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Landing on top of the skull. Stomping. Ouch! Uh, perfect kick. Quick sidestep by Dana. Hooked up. Oh, package drive. Two. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Ace. I really looked good out there, huh? What part of the match was your favorite? I actually didn't get to see the match. I was dealing with Naya. Ooh, spicy. Tell me everything. I've been wanting to take it to her for a while now. Nothing really spicy. She... she beat me up. What? You mean you failed at doing a simple little favor for me? Wow. I should have trusted my gut. I knew you didn't deserve to work with me. You said you had an issue with her, but you didn't tell me that you were the one who started harassing her on social media. When I approached her, she was already hot from your latest post. You shouldn't have put me in that position. Partners don't do that. Well, then it's a good thing we're not partners anymore. It's not my fault you couldn't handle Naya. Although, I do take responsibility for not knowing better than to trust you. I should have taught you first. In fact, This woman is ready to fight. Liv Morgan and her opponent are facing off tonight in what can only be described as a coaching session or spiritual guidance. I have to be honest, I'm a little confused. Well, that's not exactly shocking. Let me help you out. Liv Morgan's opponent is taking Liv to the School of Hard Knocks. And if Liv pays attention, she might learn how to actually survive on her own. What grace! Float over the DDT! Now, ah, trampling the opposition. Kick lands. She anticipated that one. Running clothesline! Guillotine applied! What's gonna happen here? I think she's got an opportunity to turn this around! She just got a ship. 